Hi, everybody. This is Bob Umless with a, uh, instead of a tip so much, it's a technique, but I think it's, it could be very useful. I have a range here called RG. I'll just highlight that to show you what RG is. And it's that, that bunch of cells. Um, if I wanted to find where is a value in that range, the 15, it's highlighted by conditional formatting. It shows that it's in cell B8. But what if I wanted to find it with a formula? The match, X match, all those, all find it in a vector that is a column or a row, not in a rectangular range. As you can see in cell A3, it's returning the actual address of that cell. And out in column K and L, I have the row number and the column number. So just to change it a bit, I'm gonna change it to 66. And it finds that it's in this next cell over and it's in row one, column two. And if I change it to 54, you can see it's in row one, column 10. And finally, or not finally, but if I do uh, say 59, it's in row three, column one, even though I have two of them, same issue with regular match. Um, <clears throat> it finds the first one, shows that it's in cell B10. Let's see how some of this works. If I go back to the 15, look at some of these formulas. Um, the number of columns is simple, the columns of range, it's 10 of them. But here I want to find out what row it's in. And I know I take the number of columns plus, oh, one other thing important. Um, if I, let's go back to 54. It's in row 10. This is easy to find if all of this these data, this data was in one column. So I change it to two columns, puts it all in one column, and just do a regular old match on it, or I could do an X match. <clears throat> so when I go to, let's say 59 again, if it were all in one row, it would be the 21st one. There's the first 10, the next 10, 21st. So that helps using that number. I can find out what row and column it's in. Let's leave it where it is. It's in row three, <clears throat> which is the, the 21, 21st one, plus J to the number of columns. So it's 31, minus one is 30. 30 divided by the number of columns is three. It's in the third row. If it were 22, highlights the one in row two. This, again, the 20 is simple, but here it's D2 plus D J2, which is 20 plus 10 is 30, minus 1 is 29, divided by 10 columns is 2.9, but I take the int, so it's in 2. So knowing that it's in row 2, how would I find out what column it's in? Well, I'm doing it with a little let, just it's a little shorter. I'm taking, I'm letting this thing called MD equal the mod that's what MD stands for, mod, of D2, J2. It's the re remainder when I divide D2 by J2. And the remainder is 0. 20 divided by um, 10 is 2. But the remainder is 0. If it's 0, I want to use the number of columns. It's 10. Otherwise, I use the remainder. So it's a 10th column, row 2, 10th column. And then I can pick that up by using the address. The address takes the parameters row and column. I'm not going to use the other two. Don't need it. So K2 is the row 2. And it's not obviously not in row 2. It's in row 8. I have to add where it, what row it's in minus 1. Because if it were in row 1, K2 plus 1 is um, the 2 plus 1 is 3. Minus 1 brings it back to 2, et cetera. Uh, this is the 22. So the address now is 2 plus 1 minus 1 is leaves it as 2. And the col column of range, it's, um, it's in column 2 also. L2 is 10. 10 plus 2 minus 1 is, is um, 9. 10 plus 2. 10 plus 2 is 12, minus 1 is 11. So the address, oh, this is column 11. 
k is 11, so 9 comma 11 is k9. One more. If I take it back to 59, the third row, column 1, it's the 21st one in the row. So this gives me k2, which is 3, 3 plus the range of row 1. It's, it's in row 8, minus 1, 3 plus 8, minus 1 is uh, because 11 minus 1 is 10. So that's the row number. And 1 plus the column that I said is 2. Minus 1 is 2. So row 10, column 2 is B10, and that's there. The reason I use the at sign here is because the row of range by itself gives me all the rows, rows 8 through 16. I only want the first row. So I put an at sign in there, and it gives me just row eight. Anyway, I hope you find this tip useful. And uh, now you know how you can find something in a rectangular range with a effectively a match statement. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.